Unlike old PDAs, this doesn't work on some random operating system. This runs Android, but it doesn't just run Android. This is a dual boot device, and you can use anything from Linux to Sailfish in addition to Android. But the main pull of this would be this physical keyboard. You can see me here using it with two thumbs, just like you would with a regular smartphone keyboard. But the real joy of the Gemini is to put it down on a desk and use it normally. If we open the Notes app here, we can actually do so. And you can see that it takes a little bit of practice to type on the device, but with a bit of practice, you will probably be okay. So let's just try again with a bit of practice you'll get good. So you can see that it's quite difficult just because I'm not used to typing on such a small screen and that's something that's passed us all by. However, if you grew up with something like this or you long for the days of such a massive keyboard on your mobile device, this is for you. The motion on here is quite pleasant. These keys are a little bit wobbly side to side, which is why it sometimes is difficult to type quickly and requires that practice. But there is a lovely bit of haptic feedback. When you press these keys, I can feel it vibrating very subtly through the, through the Gemini itself, which we really like. And when you hold it down to delete, it vibrates quite violently as it deletes everything on the screen. With the Android operating system, obviously it's not really made to run like this all the time. So there have been a few changes although I can use the menu buttons at the side here, Planet has added their own menu bar along the bottom for quick access to lots of different apps. Obviously, Word would be one that we would use a lot, which we like very much. There's always the option of using it split screen too, just like you would do in normal Android, which we really, really like. That. Come back out of there. Still hiding away at the side there, as you can see. Let's come in there and turn off split screen. Now, if we go back into here, you can also see how great Excel looks. And open this. This is where you get the real joy of such a large keyboard with the full size cursor keys. It's a really pleasant experience and one that's totally different to any other modern smartphone device. When we say modern, this is an 18 by 9 aspect ratio screen with a full HD plus resolution. There's a DECA core MediaTek processor inside, 4 gigabytes of RAM. It's a modern device, even though it has that nostalgic classic look. What is different is when you do that. There's no outside screen, which if you're used to a modern smartphone, that's where everything is. You don't need to go through an extra step. What Gemini, what Planet is doing is there are some LED lights in here, which will be enabled in a future version to give you an idea of what notifications come through. They're all customizable and they can flash along this bar. But outside of that, when you do get a notification, you're going to have to open it to see what that is. We might find that a little bit frustrating because we're so used to direct access to a screen on our phone. What is interesting here is there are two versions of this. You can buy one with a 4G LTE connection. It works with 4G networks in the US. It even works with CDMA. You can also buy a Wi-Fi connected version. And if you've been eyeing up those little feature phones like um, the new banana phone from Nokia, for example, you could get that and you could get this and have a computing experience on the go that really is unrivaled. You've got a complete PDA and you've got this small, ultra-long battery life, very compact, very cost-effective 4G phones go alongside it. I think that's quite a nice throwback to, well, I'm using modern devices, been in a classic fashion. Really interesting way of looking at it. The Gemini runs Android 7.1. 
there's software updates in the future to even bring back that classic Scion calendar application and even a database so you can catalogue your collection of plates or watches or cars or whatever you like and they can be shared online. It's truly a classic experience. What you don't get is a camera. There's no camera on the back here. However, this plate actually comes off and underneath the plate you can add in a whole separate camera um, whole separate camera module alongside the sim card and the micro sd card slot put on a new plate over the top giving you a camera phone if you want one but you don't have to have one really very new way of thinking about mobile devices but using a classic form factor we think this is really interesting and if you didn't hear that that the motion of opening and closing the Gemini is so satisfying. There's a series of magnets down the bottom, keeping it closed, you pull it open, and there's a lovely magnetic mechanical click. Very, very pleasant indeed. So how much are you gonna pay for this? You're gonna pay $500 for the Wi-Fi version or $600 for the 4G LTE connected version. This was recently launched on a crowdfunding campaign, the first versions are being shipped out. So if you really want that classic mobile computing and phone experience, this is the Planet Computer's Gemini. Buy it in Wi-Fi and buy yourself that cool new banana phone from Nokia to go alongside it.